Okay, so I am using size 6 yarn, which is super bulky, and the pattern says to use chunky, so I went down a needle size, so I'm using size 17 instead of 19. So if you're going to do chunky, then I would stick to the size 19 needles. Okay, to cast on 29 stitches, we're going to need a long tail. I'm not sure how long. Sometimes it takes me a few times to get it right. But so I just made a slip knot and this is how I hold my yarn. Okay. So with my thumb and index finger here and just split them up. Now I go underneath and I grab it. And then I go through the middle of that one. And then I let it go. Okay, I'll well, do it again. Grab this. And then go in between, see, these two strands. And then you go in between these two strands. And that's three. Okay. Okay, so do this 29 times. Okay, now for row one, we knit. We also knit for row three, but okay, so make sure your tail is out of the way. And then I just stick my needle, my right needle from the front to the back in the first loop or stitch. And then you grab your yarn. Just so you know, I twist it on my pinky. I don't know, but it helps with my tension and yeah. Okay, and then we go around our right needle counterclockwise. And then we just like that. And I just tighten it with my tail, okay? And do it again. From front to back, counterclockwise. No. And that's how you knit. Okay, knit all the way to the end of the row. Okay, and this is what it looks like. So I, oops, I forgot to show you. I knitted my last stitch and then I just flipped it over. Okay, and now we're on the wrong side. You can see all these bumps. Now for row two, we are going to knit one. And then do the daisy stitch. So we, okay, so when we purl, we bring our yarn in the front, okay? Now we're going to purl not one, not two, but three together. And it's going to be tight, okay? And then I put my yarn over right needle counterclockwise and Try to do this kind of loose. And then you purl them, but it says to leave them on um, your left hook, okay? And then it says to yarn over. So we are going to make a yarn over like so. I just wrapped it around my hook because when we purl, our yarn has to be in the front. Okay, and now we're going to purl those same three stitches again. And then we let go. Okay, now we 
Just repeat the daisy stitch and knit one. So here, I'm doing knit one. And then we do the daisy stitch again, which is we put our yarn in the front. We're going to purl three together. Slide your needle up. Okay. Put your yarn over so like this. Leave them on there. And then we do our yarn over. And then we purl three together. I hope that's right. I'm going to show you the last daisy stitch. So we purl three together. Leave them on there. You know, if you accidentally, oh, I forgot, you know, slipped them off, then you just get your needle back and put them back on there, okay? And then we yarn over. And then we purl them again. Now we slide them off. Okay, and then this right here will make our flower, our little daisy, where it kind of looks like a star too. And then we knit one. That's our row two. Okay, in row three, we just knit, just like row one. So knit all of row three. For row four, we knit one, purl one, and then we repeat the daisy stitch until the last three stitches, and then those last three stitches we knit one, purl one, and knit one. So we knit one, daisy stitch, knit one, daisy stitch. So you, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Again, we purl three together. And then we bring our yarn over. And then we purl them again. Okay. And then knit one. Do this to the last three stitches. So I just finished my last daisy stitch and then I knit one, bring my yarn to the front and I purl one. Then I bring my yarn to the back to knit the last stitch. All right, so we've done rows one through four. And this is what it looks like. Ooh, I love it. It's so much cooler than just a plain knit. Okay, so we repeat rows one through four two more times. And it should be, the length should be five inches. Okay, so row one, we just knit. Two, we're doing a, the daisy stitch. Three, we knit. And four, we do the daisy stitch again. Please remember to follow along with me with the pattern, with the written pattern. It will answer your questions, you won't be confused because yes, I don't show the whole row because it's just repeating the same thing, but some of you get lost and it is so helpful if you have the written pattern and follow along with me, okay? Alrighty. If you want to start over with me again, then click here and I'll take you back to row one.
Okay, I just finished doing rows one through four two more times, and this is what mine looks like. And now we are supposed to bind off pearlwise. Yarn is in the front, and we put our needle from the back to the front. And then purl. And then we purl the next stitch. Okay, and now we grab our first stitch and we pull it over our second stitch and off the needle. Okay. Pearl. Grab the first stitch, pull it off the second. So we need to have another stitch. Always have two stitches here, no more than pull it off. Okay. Okay, do this all the way to the end of the row. Okay, here's my last one. And I pull it off. Okay, and now and then you pull this yarn out. I think it said 10 inches. So that you have enough to sew. Okay, and then you cut it. And then you pull the rest of your yarn out. Okay, and that's it. Okay, this is how I leave my ends. So I folded it in half like this, right? This is the top. And we just go through, match it the best you can. And it looks like a bonnet. Okay, and then now what I do is I tie a knot. And then I put my yarn through. Oop. So it's inside. Like that. Okay, and then now you need to weave your ends the same. You just get your yarn needle and you go up through here. Then you just go back and cut. Okay, so you cut six strands that are two feet long. And then you put them in the middle, okay, like this. And then you go through just at the very end okay like that and then you have this loop you put your strands through your loop and then you pull it okay And then you braid them so you have two, two, and two. And then you just tie them in a knot at the end and there's one strand. I'll do another one. <laughs> 